Hi, welcome to the Stamp Lily Workshop. My name is April, the owner of the Stamp Lily, an upcycled hand-stamped jewelry business, and now the creator of the TSL Stamp Kit. You guys, I'm so excited to bring you into my shop today. I'm so excited we get to stamp together, and it's my joy to share with you the art of giving. You guys, the Stamp Lily was actually started with a necklace similar to what you guys are gonna be creating today. I wanted to love on a friend, with intention and just let her know that I was thinking of her and just wanted to give her some encouragement. So I learned how to stamp and I stamped a necklace that she still wears today and still talks about she loves it so much. So it's my hope that this kit will do the same thing in your life. You'll be able to use this kit to love on the people in your life with intention. There is nothing more special than being on the receiving end of a gift, knowing that the person thought of you and took the time to make something for you. So I really hope that this kit is an opportunity for you guys to do that with the people in your life. This video is going to be just stamping. I'm gonna walk you through how to stamp your jewelry on a step-by-step -step process. I'm gonna record other videos later talking about how to put your jewelry pieces together. But this video is just going to be stamping. So gather your supplies and let's get started. Let me show you what comes in your TSL stamp kit. You will have a TSL basic stamp set, which comes with letters, numbers, and and symbol. And you will also get a heart. A permanent marker. Some alcohol wipes washi tape, yours may be a different color, and a practice metal square that could come in a different shape or color. You'll also have your metal plates ready to stamp. You'll also need a hammer. You can use any hammer that you have lying around the house that will work just fine. And you're gonna need a dish towel. I just grabbed one from my kitchen. And the purpose is just to keep it under your steel stamping block to protect the surface that you're stamping on. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a solid surface to stamp on. I've stamped on this desk, I've stamped on another workbench, and I, when I first started, I actually stamped on my garage floor. So you just need to have something solid to stamp on. I have my practice metal square. Again, remember yours can be a different size or a different color but I want you to use this practice metal square just to get comfortable with stamping. I want you to get comfortable hitting the stamp and practicing here before you start working on your metal plates. I also want to bring your attention to the fact that these letters are going to be reversed. So when you look at this E, for example, it is facing the other direction but it's because when you place it down onto your metal piece, it's going to impress the correct way. So keep in mind when you're looking for letters that they're going to be mirror image, they're gonna be reversed. And I also wanted to call your attention to the six and the nine. So you don't have a six and a nine stamp, you're just gonna have one. And depending on which way you turn it, that is the way your number is going to impress. So for example, this would be a nine and this would be a six. So I want, I'm gonna use this E and I want to teach you two different ways to stamp. You wanna make sure that your letter is flat against your metal piece. The reason is because you wanna have an even impression. It's really hard to re-stamp the letter after you've already stamped it the first time. So you wanna try and make sure you're getting an even impression the very first time. There's two different ways you can stamp. I will show you the way I do it and I'll also show you the way that other stampers do it. I like to stamp my letter one time really hard. I hit it hard and this way I don't run the risk of my impression bouncing along my surface. So I'm going to show you right now. So you can see I've stamped it once and I stamped it hard and the impression is deep enough. The other way you can stamp is to tap your stamp. So I'm gonna do it right next to it. And in this way, you need to just make sure that you don't move your stamp in between taps. So you wanna hold your stamp really firmly and then you're just gonna give it a little tap. 
and you also get an impression that way. It's a little bit lighter of an impression, but both will work. I want you to choose the method of stamping that works best for you. Once you're comfortable stamping after using your practice metal square, then you're ready to start stamping your metal plates for your jewelry. I've chosen the dog tag shape here, and I'm going to stamp the word love. I wanna show you what it looks like to stamp using a piece of tape as a line to keep your letters straight. This also serves two purposes because it helps you keep your plate intact and so it won't move when you're stamping. And it also helps you achieve that straight stamp line. You do not have to stamp with tape. In fact, when I stamp, I actually don't use tape very often. I like the more organic feel, but some people like the more straight feel. So again, this is a preference. This is where you get to get creative with what you're making. I'm gonna stamp the word love. So I'm going to find my L. And this part is kind of tricky, but I wanna show you what it, I wanna to explain to you what it's gonna be like when you're trying to find your tape line. You're gonna place your, I have an L, so you're gonna place your first letter above the tape. You're gonna drag it pretty, um, you're gonna drag it pretty lightly. You wanna feel where your letter gets caught on the tape. This is how you know that you're at your tape line. So I'm gonna start with my L right about here. Okay, and you can see that my letter is right at my tape line now. My L is right at my tape line. So I'm gonna repeat that step for the O. and the V. That one got away from me a little bit. That's okay. And the E. Okay, I'm also gonna add a heart because they're fun and it's super cute. You can place it wherever you want. You can get playful. It doesn't have to be on the tape line. You can you can just get creative. This is this is what is so fun about creating custom jewelry. Okay? Now, keep in mind when you stamp, you guys, it's not going to be perfect. I think that is the beauty of creating handmade jewelry. So you can see here my V is just a little bit off, but it's still so sweet. So I, got, I want you to keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect. It would, it would be awful to work so hard on something and decide that it's not good enough because one of your letters is a little bit crooked. Please, please, please appreciate how beautiful the imperfect is. Now you're ready to darken your letters. You can see after we stamp, you can see the indention of our letters, but it's just not quite dark enough. So that's where our permanent marker comes in. You're just gonna take your permanent marker and color over your impressions, making sure that the permanent marker gets all the way inside your impression. You're gonna use your alcohol wipe to wipe off the excess. You don't have to worry about staying in the lines. When you use your alcohol wipe, the marker comes off of everything except for your indentions. And you can see here my O, oh, I need to replace that a little bit at the top. That will change, you know, based on what you've stamped and how your impression looks. You may have to do the same thing. Just go over it again. Okay, so now we're ready to create our jewelry. So follow me over to the next video where I'm gonna show you how to put this plate onto a necklace and onto a keychain. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for stamping with me. It was so much fun having you in my workshop with me today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. You guys can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at The Stamped Lily. And I want to see what you guys are stamping and what you guys are creating. So you guys can use the hashtag TSL Stamp Kit so I can find out what you guys are doing. When you're ready, please follow me over to the jewelry making video where I'm going to show you how to put your stamped piece together to make a necklace or a keychain. I'll see you there. Stamp your jewelry pieces and your metal plates. I'm going to show you where they go.